a time where things have slowed down, in a time where people are worried about money, when they're seeing maybe their income decrease, if they're business owners, they're, they're feeling the crunch of people being on vacation and whatnot. And we're all, you know, we're all trying to figure out how we can make more money or sustain the money that we're already making. And that causes us to feel a lot of depression and uh, desperation and um, fear and get scared over what the future will bring for us. But one of the things that really is the antidote for that is joyful giving. And sometimes we can look at things look at who we are and what we have to offer to the world and just give it, give it without any angle, give it without thinking of any return monetarily for what we're going to get out of it, but do something good, put something beautiful out into the world. And sometimes when we do that, that is when we get the very thing that we were worried about, we weren't getting. And we're doing it because it's the right thing to do, because it feels good to give, because we want to give back something beautiful. And we can almost instantaneously see the benefits of that in the faces of the other people, in the stories that you get in return of what your gift did for someone else. My husband recently performed with a group, performed with a group he's in, and while he was there, another group was playing and it's a man that he's really appreciated all his life. And with a joyful spirit, he went up and he spoke to him and he was just telling him how much he loved him, how he followed him, what an inspiration he was to him. And he, and he did that without trying to angle anything for himself. He was in a spirit of joyful giving, giving of appreciation to someone else who made an impact on their life and don't you know that within 15 minutes he's on stage with him playing with one of his idols someone that he looked up to so it isn't always about angling for yourself you know there's three states of, of energy that we can be in pushing pulling or being and when we are pushing our energy we're pushing against the reception of our ideas to other people. And this is like salespeople pushing you to buy something. Pulling, when someone is hovering over you and trying to pull you into their ideas and their concepts, their belief systems, and you just don't want to. But the best energy is being, and that is the energy where you are in a space of appreciation, gratitude, being with yourself, loving yourself for who you are, loving everyone else around you, enjoying the energy and enjoying your place in life the moment that you're in it and sharing whatever gratitude about that moment with someone else or with others. And sometimes when you do those things, miraculous things happen and all the opportunities that you've been fearful about not getting or the money that you've been worried about not coming back or not getting enough money. It's amazing how the universe opens up opportunities for you when you are not focused on pushing or pulling. And that is an interesting balance, but it's my perception of just some things that happened this weekend that just proved that point. So Pushing, pulling, or being in the best state is to be in a state of being because it feels good to just be in your own energy and be where you are. And guess what? Other people enjoy being around you too when you're in that state.